welcome to the awakening um today i woke up and i decided i wasn't going to eat anymore i just be bothered i just felt like i'd been pushed to such a level of cruelty and unhappiness that I just didn't want to eat anymore. Um, people don't understand how I can have so many friends all over and yet no one comes to visit at all. They're asking me, you know, people are contacting me from all over the world. They don't understand. I don't understand either. But yesterday was particularly a very painful day for me. I felt like I lost my family all over again. And I'm not going to go into details, but that's how I felt. And um, I, I just, I just don't understand anymore why the world is so cruel. Um, we're all living in fear. We're living in a really difficult time. And I suppose it builds up inside you and you say things to people because people are hurting you so you take you just lash back at them and you just keep losing because people won't sit down and talk they won't seem to sit down and talk and try and work stuff out so you just lose and lose and lose and it, it's not okay i can't tell you that this is going to be okay not until we do something drastic. Let me put it this way. I grew up in the Middle East and I grew up in the, I went in the army. I know how to win a war. This isn't it. This is not the way to win a war. Yes, people are waking up, but not enough, not quickly enough. There are certain ways to win a war. And I know how to do it because I came from a background where the wars were won. And how do you think my education was? I was taught about armies, strategies, and what you need to do to win a war. This is not it. This is divide and conquer. This is divide and conquer. This is divide and conquer. This is united, we do not stand, so we fall. Do you understand what I'm saying here? The way I've been treated, the way lots of people are being treated, someone like me who is given all the love in my heart, continuously given and given and given and given and given and given and given, given and given and given and given, and given, and given love, Never earned a penny from giving all the love. Never got anything back. Because if I had, I wouldn't be like this, would I? On the verge of not wanting to eat. Look. I had a childhood eating disorder. And now I have to force myself to have one meal a day, if that. Everything's wasting. I go to the allotment, packed with beetroots and spinach and courgettes, cabbage, all going to waste. None of you. A huge two acre piece of land going to waste because none of you want to use it to grow your own vegetables or your, to have your own part of that. Friends, or because I don't have anyone who wants to, to do anything. Or they can't because they're too busy or they're too stressed. But this is how the world has gone for people like me. This is how the world has gone for a lot of people like me. And so today, what's keeping me, well, I actually got up and had some feta cheese and I had a cracker was because some amazing soul called me all the way from Liverpool, not from around the corner. Yeah, someone local invited, not local, someone about an hour away invited me to meet up 
but I can't drive today. I haven't got the energy. I haven't got the energy. I haven't got the energy to go down to one of those supermarkets and put petrol in the car and watch these idiots with their masks. And I don't want to see it, all right? So I can't do it. Can't go out today. I'm being invited all over the country now to film and maybe do speeches and things. I've got to eat and keep my energy because how else am I going to do it? This amazing soul called me from Liverpool and said, enough, we have to stick together. We care about you. We care about you. Strangers care about you. And the husband who I'm separated from called me and we had a long chat. He cares, I care. We just can't be together. I don't know what's going on. I saw the thing on Google with the Queen saying that she's lost all her money or something and that they've banned Andrew from all the gatherings. So maybe something good is happening in my life. I have a neighbor and I asked him to turn down the noise. He's wearing headphones and it was a big issue. We don't understand that people need compassion and love, gentleness, work, family, passion, love, gentleness. Use your skills, your talents. I'm too scared to say if I get a job or if I get an interview, I'm too scared now to say it because the minute I say it, something takes it away. That's been going on now for a long time since I started telling you, you don't need medication for BPD and you do not need medication for BPD. You need love, you need companionship, you need nutrition, you need joy, you need work, you need your creativity. You do not need doctors, you do not need drugs. Same as for this flu bug, which I was trying to prove is similar to the AIDS thing they did to you. Diana hugged everyone. I would not have any barrier about hugging someone with this bug because it's not dangerous or contagious. I would hug anyone because you can't have it unless you're really low and god knows maybe i am but even if i do whatever it's a flu bug i'll either get over it or i won't but no one would touch me i would do it myself same way as all of you can heal everything if you have the right balance of the mind the body and the spirit and enough love and for some reason i attracted the opposite because the minute I become me, people tell me to become me, to say the truth, to tell them the truth and become me. They kick them out, they kick me out of their lives. Same as when I was a child. Mom and dad, shut up. We don't want to hear about your abuse. Be quiet. Let's push it under the carpet. We don't want to hear about it because it's our responsibility. We sent you to the dentist. We don't want to hear anything you've got to say. We don't want you to be real, but we're telling you to be real. These are the people that cut me out of their lives. We don't want to know who you are. We don't want your pain. We don't want you crying and shouting and grieving and coming through your, you know, like you're meant to. We don't want, we want you to do that. That's the message. But then you do it. You do it. And you become the queen of swords and you become focused and you tell them, you're not going to hurt me anymore. You've hurt me enough. Apologize. Do something nice. I gave and gave and gave. And they just keep hurting you. 
those people that told you to be genuine, that told you to be yourself, that told you to be the real spirit that you are, are the ones that hurt you the most. Because the minute you tell them or you show them what you really are, the fear or the anger about the way they've treated you, they cut you out. So be very careful of those people that want you to be yourself. Be very careful of those people that tell you to, to, to show everything. Because the minute you do, they don't like it, they'll throw you away. And those are the friends and the family that I attracted into my life. And yesterday I relived the whole loss of my family and my nieces. And whoever did that to me knew very well what yesterday was going to do to me. And they still did it. And um, the damage is done. Damage is being done every day, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. How much more can I project hope? when I'm losing it myself. And the same people that cut me off were the ones who were telling me that we're not going to die, that everything's going to be okay. And they were the only ones that were telling me, I have no one, no one telling me that. So, how can I tell you anything positive if no one is telling me anything positive? These people are not bad people. They're scared. And they're scared of me because they pushed me to become real. And sometimes when you ask for what you want, you don't always want it, do you? The minute you become real, then it projects onto them and they push you away. But now there's no one giving me any good news anymore. These people were giving me some hope and positivity in my life. Now I have none. Someone called me today and asked me how I was, right? I said, I can't eat. I can't get out of bed. I can't talk. This person started telling me about all the bad stuff that's happening around them, all the crap and all the negativity. What's wrong with people? I can't take anymore. Do you understand that? I need love. I need positive stuff. I want to tell positive stuff to you guys through moving on TV. So somebody called me from Liverpool and gave me some hope, but I can't tell you. I can't tell you because the minute I say it, it'll be gone. Because that lot will take it away the same way as they took away my happiness for, I don't know, since I did the children's peace song. Since I started to send out light, they started to destroy my life. And don't say I'm imagining it. Talk to Simon Parks. They messed his whole life up. That's what they do. They don't want you telling the light. They don't want you spreading the light. They put people in your life to drag you down. That's what it feels like now. And unless these people come clean and say to me, we're not, that's what I feel. So you all came into my life to hurt me to push me in different directions and to leave me to get on with it. I said to some people, give me tough love because you know that that's what I need. But boy, you need balance too. I can't take any more of your tough love. I can't take any more of your threats. I'm not gonna do anything to myself. My heart might just stop because it's broken again and again and again 
and again. So I can't tell you what someone might be coming through with because it won't work out. Because the minute I say something, it will be gone. I can't tell you. That's how it's been now, since 2012. Apart from the fringes, when I got out there and did PF, as soon as I tried 2014, 2015, I got my five star reviews, 2016, standing ovations, success doing the breakdowns on the stage, proving to you you don't need medication, all you need is to do what you love. Every single time I've done anything, they've taken it away. And this lockdown annihilated all my dreams again and again and again. And now, I don't know, my heart breaks enough, maybe one day, if that happens, you'll all sit there and you'll say, remember what happened to Van Gogh and uh, what's her name? Eva Cassidy, all these talents. All these incredible talents, these speakers, these talents, you never even knew who they were until they went. I'm not going to do anything to myself. Don't send that lot after me. But my heart is broken and I may not just wake up. I don't know. My heart is broken. It's been broken so many times. And I keep putting it back together. And then it breaks again. Humanity is breaking my heart over and over and over and over and over. The heart of humanity is broken. You need to unite. If you don't unite, freedom fighters, light workers, remember the goal. The goal is to save humanity. Stop falling out. I don't like this one. You don't like that one. Pick up your pieces. Care enough about people like me. Do something kind for me. Come and visit me. Not once every five months, but properly. Properly. See what the consequences. As I said, my heart is broken. I'm not going to do anything, but I might fall asleep and not wake up because when you have a broken heart, that can happen. That can happen. Someone put on here how much I deserve. How much I deserve. But you have your gods and your celebrities, and you'll give them 200,000 views and they'll give me 20. I really want to go on the 19th and the 26th and I really want to go touring, talking and singing all over the country like a lot of people. I really do. I'm running out of energy. I don't have much of a singing voice left. I'm all the crying. Kind people call me from all over the world. They say, where is everyone? I'm supposed to meet someone in central London on Thursday in the middle. I don't know if I've got the energy to get to London. I haven't had more than one meal a day now for so long. I can't, I just can't do it. And if there's no food and I can't go there at the moment. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I tried to do an online thing with Tesco and they said we will deliver next week. We're so busy. It, it's just unbelievable. I grew up in wars, as you know. In wars, people come together. You have air raid shelters and you come together. Why are you piling on the negativity in your groups? Why are you not laughing occasionally? 
Why are you not connecting occasionally? Or well, maybe you did yesterday and I was the only one who wasn't invited. I've been opened my home for star seeds to come here to meditate, to cry, to sing, to laugh, to connect, to save the world together. They don't want to come. They're too busy. They're always too busy. They think I'll be all right. Everybody thinks I'll be all right. Why am I Jesus? Why am I a robot? No, I've said that for years when all I got was unhappiness from everything I tried to do, from that lot, since I tried to spread the light. Why am I? I know other people like me that are incredibly talented. I know one in particular, an incredibly talented man, a healer, a coach, a musician. Amazing. Never earns anything. Why? Is it because he was targeted too? Because he was full of light when I met him. They dimmed his too. And where is they dimming mine? They turn light workers against each other. They turn freedom fighters against each other. And the sheep are celebrating because we're falling. And if we don't do something very quickly, we won't have anything. I don't see how it's possible. Or if we do, we'll build a system based on the same. And the rich will get richer and the poor will get poorer. And there won't be equality. I mean, stop coming to me with your big ideas of building communes and doing this, that and the other when you don't even bother to turn up when we have a meeting. Or you don't even bother to call me. Just get out of my life. I'm not having it anymore. I just want some love, compassion, respect, loyalty. All I've ever given you guys is loyalty and love and respect. Why don't I get that back? I brought my nieces up. And then as soon as they were old enough, they turned against me and my husband because we were not celebrities. <laughs> I brought my little sister up more or less and as soon as she was old enough, she turned against me because of what happened to her as a child. She couldn't cope with it. She thought I was her mother. Every single friend I've given you so much. I give and give and give. As soon as I, off that pedestal, because I'm human. When I tell you, you dis... Beha you behaved out of order. That's it. I'm gone. I'm gone from their life. I'm gone. They can do whatever they want. Walk all over me. Treat me like shit. But th the minute I say enough, they're gone. They're gone. So what is the message here? Be a doormat for like the rest of your life because that's what the world has turned you into and it's, that's what's expected of you from this system, from this whatever. I don't know what else to say. I got to go and try and do an interview with someone and respect what they're doing, their work. And maybe you'll bother to watch it because it's not on someone else's channel who's getting 200,000 views and I get 20. And if I have the energy by the end of the week, I'll go on the 19th. But no one will pick me up. No one will give me a lift. No one will make sure I get there and back. No one will pay. Well, someone paid me afterwards, after they saw the film, to help me with the work I did. And she's an amazing woman and I'm very grateful. But that's a rarity. That's the only time I think I was given 20 pounds. In, in five months, six months, I was given 120 pounds. That's all I've earned from moving on TV. So if you can be bothered or if you've got a heart and you want me to film on the 19th, maybe you could fund my ticket or maybe you could give me a donation to help me. I don't know. 
the reason our mental illness this is what they would diagnose now with mental illness what humanity has done to me and what it's doing to me every single day good luck thank you contact me moving on tv1 at gmail.com come on if you want to don't if you don't i'm trying to give you your dream i'm trying to help you get out there but all you want to do is go around in circles with the negativity and the fear and the panic you're not creating solutions so if you don't create solutions you're not going to get there go out there like mark Steele, kate shimriani and some of those people together but you need to unite all of you come together put your egos aside put your personalities do not send me messages to have a go at me because i put on mark Steele because he made a terrible mistake when he was young it doesn't take away from the facts of the information he is trying to do to save your lives God's sake and do your own research and stop taking everything out on me. Thank you.